takes a lot of energy <laughs> doing that. So um, I was wondering, you know, like, and we've talked about, you've talked about this a bunch in class about the importance of keeping the, the weapons in, even though obviously people aren't walking around with long poles you know, <laughs> the way they used to. You know, we don't have to navigate Chicago with uh, a long pole. So, like, what's, uh, what are maybe like our two or three of the main things you think are important about keeping the pole in the Wing Chun system? Uh, well, first of all, just by fact that the pole is actually quite heavy. Mm -hmm. So it's an amazing workout for the upper body. Yeah. Uh, the stance trains the legs, yeah. and thrusting the pole kind of helps you understand how to get your power out. Mm. So it benefits the empty hand side of the system. So a lot of people don't know the pole, they don't know the knives, they don't have a real clear picture of the entire art. They're missing pieces of it. Uh, the pole and the knives, even though you can't use them today, they're still Part of it is tradition, right? Yeah. Keep them, you keep them there because they've been passed down to us. Second thing is how they can benefit your empty hand skill. Yeah. So next up in the knives, I've done everything today. Yeah. Thirty minute run, Sun Tao twice, Chum Q, Yuji, Dummy, pull two times, and I'll do the knives. But when I practice like that. It reinforces in my mind and in my body this complete picture of the art. Mm. And, you know, like I said, some people don't learn the pole and the knives and they try to go out and teach. Well, you don't have all the information. Right. Have, having the weapons gives you another layer of understanding of the art and completes the whole picture. Yeah. Uh, you know, advanced footwork, how to get power and energy out, all these things are are important. So, you know, I'll go through everything, including the weapons, at least two, three times a week. Yeah. And then some days I'll isolate one or the other, depending mm -hmm. on what I feel like I want to train in. Yeah. So it's uh, just to kind of revisit, right? So it's. Uh, Part of it is tradition, right? This mm -hmm. is when you made a promise to Yip Ching to pass it on, like, the same way, and to practice it the same way without changing anything. Right. And it will uh, make your empty-handed techniques better, stronger, mm -hmm. and all that. Um, and it's, it's also a really good workout, it's just good on workout, its own merit. Yeah. So those are three very good reasons to you carry practice it on. Practice every day. I mean, here it is Sunday. Right. I ain't sitting around watching TV, mm. <laughs> watching the Bears or whatever. I'm practicing. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks. I'll leave you to finish then. More practice. More practice. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching our Sunday Sunim Tao. For all of you who requested that this become uh, a regular thing and didn't want to read necessarily, so you get to um, hear and see it directly just like you would be uh, having in class. See you all later. <laughs>